Hello everybody. How are we all doing? Ah, I see Mike's already there. Hi Mike. Did I get you um, hooked on the Spaces Choice uh, jingle? It's not the best choice. It's Spaces Choice. <laughs> What are we doing today? Today we are building this. The uh, Kobe Focke Wolf FV or FW190A8, which is from the historical collection. Um, I don't know. Some people might have seen, um, Mike certainly has seen um, me build the uh, Sabaton tank, which is the last. Uh, thing I built from Kobe, which was pretty much a year ago, and I got this from the in-laws uh, for my birthday, and I thought, I'm going to save that, I'm going to stream the building. So, uh, what do we got here? It's the Kobe set 5704, 285 parts, and uh, there's stuff on the back. Wait, I can probably... So, I got this camera. Maybe that works better. Still, this is, a, this is obviously a new setup uh, as we just moved in. So I'm uh, still working on this. I probably don't need the mouse, do I? Need any of this? Okay. So maybe maybe you can see. No, that doesn't work this way. Now there's a little insect there. Yeah. So it's a, it's a fighter plane from World War Two. Uh, so it's a lot smaller than the Sabaton tank. Um, I'm guessing that this will be very relaxed. <laughs> that's Zinch. Yeah, that's very relaxed building. I mean, I managed I managed the tank. I built that correctly, I think. Mm. This fly is annoying me. Um, yeah, I don't like the... Uh, by the way, I love Kobe. They're great sets, but uh, the, the uh, characters are kind of shit. <laughs> yeah, so let's let's crack this open, shall we? Um, sorry for being a tiny bit late. I had some. I got. I got distracted with work. Imagine that. Imagine that. I'm trying to open this here. This is hard. Let's see if we have a plastic bag explosion like last time. I can remember. I felt really bad. It's really like, really bad for all the dolphins that will that will die in the oceans, because I will be building a Kobe set. This is a. This is suboptimal. Ah, this this looks uh, this looks more manageable. Looks like we will be killing less dolphins. Um, what do we got? got that. Let's go. Another smaller bag. More bags. And there is something. Let's see, smaller bags. Well, that's quite a lot of bags. Oh, that's the um, the manual is a bit. It's a bit, it's not very straight. Okay, let's get the other bags out. And let's put that, where should we put that? Let's put that here. So we have a, we have a reference picture. Can, uh, can't, can't really, can't really see it. Anyway, I'll put it there so I can see. Uh, we wouldn't go this way. Okay, so that's the, um, that's the manual. We got a manual. Um, made in in the EU in Poland. Actually, like that. I think that's very good. Um, warning: choking hazard. Oh, we've got some stickers. Don't like stickers, but I guess I don't know. I st I don't know if I will put them on. We'll see. Stickers. Got some rubbish, and I've got some tea. Oh. Oh wait, I have to switch it the other way around. Why are Max always designed the wrong way around? Support your local hospital. Um, stop chewing on the pieces. <laughs> I think I did that as a kid. Um, what do we got on the back? On the back we got some ads. Oh, this is cool. The Bo Boeing B-17F Flying Fortress Memphis Bell. I kind of want that. That's pretty cool. Any Yonkers? And oh, the Corsair! Isn't that? Wasn't that this? That is seventies uh, TV show uh, with the you know when they were stationed in like uh, the Vietnam War 
that was those pants and the Messer Schmidt. Now that I have the um, that I have the Focke Wolf, I will have to get this Messer Schmidt definitely. Um, I thought I'll uh, I'll be I think I'll whenever I buy a Kobe kit or get one I'll build them on streams just more fun. Boeing officially licensed product. Looks like they have a Boeing license. And unlike Lego, they're not like, oh no, it's a warplane. My God. That's what I like about Kobe. I mean, it's a fucking toy. It's not an actual warplane. Memphis Bell, yeah. The, it's, is, it, is it a movie? I think it definitely there's a movie with that's about the plane, right? I think. Like from the 60s. Isn't it even. Is there with Charlton Heston? I seem to remember. Something like this. Okay. Oh, this actually says there's a the part that says there's a um a playing card with a heart and it says can you can you see this? And it says Yuta. Wait, maybe we need to to go like uh, come on. Ah, oh, this is not easy. It says Yuta. <laughs> so I guess the plane's called Yuta or his his girlfriend is Yuta. Okay, so let's uh it's enough talking. Enough talking, let's get started with this. With this, with... Ah, oh, God. They, they could be numbering the bags, you know. Mid-80s? Okay, maybe we're thinking of a different movie. Oh, it's, I, found the, I found the Utah part. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, they're... they're Oh, this is a head, headless man. Um, I love their prints, right? They're, they're, the Kobe prints are just amazing. They're really well done. Like Really good shit. Okay, let's put all the special stuff to the side. Oh, there's another another Utah part. I guess it's from the from the other side. Got a seat. Uh, is the guy actually sitting in the plane? Yeah, he is. Oh, that's that's cool. That is not bad. Is, does this actually have the part I want? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's six, and then we need a. It's also six. Is this actually seven? Yeah. Wow, seven. I don't know. I can remember back back when I was building Legos when I was a kid. Wasn't there a time when they didn't have uneven things? Pretty sure. I, I don't think it's in this bag. Oh, there's a the propeller here. I don't think it's in this bag. Maybe it's in this bag. Let's see. Right, had to look it up. 1990, Memphis Bell's a fictionali fictionalization of the 1944 documentary Memphis Bell, a story of Flying Fortress by director William Wyler. Maybe I haven't seen that. Maybe I've seen the documentary. About the 25th and last mission of an uh, American Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress bomber, the Memphis Bell, based in England during World War II. Oh, just look at that. The, uh, the, camo on, the camo on that. I'm always putting this in the wrong camera. Uh, what was I looking for? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Great. Uh, so what we're we doing? We're putting this on there. Like that. Yeah, looks like it. Oh yeah, so this is, this is the thing where the old stuff is always grayed out. So I guess... Um... So I guess we need another seven. God, I haven't done this for for way too long. Six, seven, 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 seven. Where are you? Where could you be? Where could it be? This could be it. One, two, three, two, three four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's eight. That's. Uh, Guess we need that later. <laughs> Probably didn't see the documentary. Yeah, I'd see the documentary. I think I saw the documentary. Maybe the movie with, Char with Charlton Heston was something else. Some other war movie with Charlton Heston. Seven. Okay, here we go. 
uh, we need that and then we need whatever the whatever the hell that piece that is um, I'm guessing this will be in a completely different bag any anything else would just be way too easy Is it that one yeah I think it's in here oh god oh god I put that bag open Get the knife out. So, Mike, how are you doing? How's how's life been treating you? How are things? As you can tell, I'm still. I haven't. Um, I haven't like just completely start. Like I've I've started work, but I'm like you know, I'm I'm still taking it slow. This week, because once you start, it's all. It's all just gonna spiral out of control again. What the hell? Um, okay, so now we need a six, which we're gonna put on here like that. <laughs> Not really know where to begin. A lot has happened. Wow, that sounds interesting. In a, do you have a how's how's the How's the job search been treating? Have you actually looked for a job or were you just, ooh. Uh, I mean, you know, for a while, as long as you still have money, you can kind of enjoy not having a job, I guess, for a bit. Uh, just call it a sabbatical or something. Where is that piece? Mm. The heck? Oh, there it is. Hello, Reamed. How are you doing? Moin, moin. Moin, moin. Moin, moin from Düsseldorf. I keep I keep saying moin, moin here, by the way. I'm just gonna, gonna go with that. I like moin, moin. People here kind of look at you funny when you say that, but uh, I'm getting them used to it now. Where the heck? Heck is that piece? Maybe it wasn't in here after all. So there's there's one. But I kinda need two. I've got two of those. Mm. Let's hope it's not missing. I mean Kobe's really good with sending you missing pieces. But that would be a bit anticlimactic for the stream. Moin Moin is the best and universal greeting. It is. It is. It is. Sorry, I was just getting distracted. There was a guy who looked like he wanted to steal a car outside. Um, no luck yet. Oh, Mike. That's not... Hmm. Damn it! I'm gonna I'm gonna start pressing my thumbs for you. Um, I actually didn't before because I was so busy with my own life that I forgot everything about everybody else. I had I had enough on my plate as it was, but now that it's all settling back down again, where is this part? Oh God! I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start just doing this. I don't think I've got enough space on this. Table. I'm just gonna start doing this anyway. To look for this damn piece. Hey, hey, hey! So they hey they use in in Denmark and in Sweden, right? Norway isn't Norway. Don't don't they say something different in Norway? I already forgot again. I think it's it's different in Norway. Yeah, I mean, job prospects, I think you're not the only one there, aren't you? This is looking shit for everybody. Hey, hey, is goodbye. Oh, that's not like moin moin. I mean, moin and moin moin are both hello. Although, if you're saying moin moin and you're in, in Ostfriesland, uh, East Frisia, then they consider you 
to be too talkative. And it's also very happy-go-lucky. It's like you're really having a good day in you saying that. I think this part is missing. This is not good. Oh, no. There it is. Ha, see, you just have to say, it's missing. And then it just immediately turns up. Wait. these like that and then ah you can already see wait um, wait, wait we need a we need a black square black square thing oh it's in here okay. so what do they say in Norway again You must know this, Mike. The Scandinavia, it's all the same. <laughs> Here you go. Um, this is a bit different from what it's supposed to be. Though. Oh, okay. You can, you can already see it's... Um, this is going to be like the engine block. It's kind of hard to see because it's all black, I guess. But it didn't really work on the camera. But this will be the, the front of the plane, I'm guessing. Um, now we get to the small things. Which is in here. Norwegians are the same. Okay, yeah. All the Vikings. Probably was the original Viking, Viking greeting. Hey, 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 hey. Guess that's where hey in English comes from, right? Um, okay, so now we have to put this small thing here. And then two of those weird things with the weird slopes. Where are the weird slopes? God, it's this. These are really, these are really not like. You first open that bag and then you assemble all of this. They are really uh, sorted by. Not by how you use them, by but which way they come off the production line, I guess, or something like that. It's probably Trump's fault. Well, this is the cockpit canopy. It's probably Trump's fault. Well, it's a head. It's a head. Head, 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 head. Uh, what are we looking for? These things, I think. I think we're looking for these things. Man, I missed this. This is nice and chill. Are these supposed to be like gray? Because they look like they're the same color. Hmm. Do these slopes exist in black? They would probably do, based on what I'm seeing on the box. Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't want to fuck this up. Yeah, I think they do. Oh yeah, they have different. They look different as well. They have different. Uh, Things on the top. Nappe, as we say in German. Different Nappe. Oh, this is this is gonna be fun looking for really small parts in this soon. Okay, I think we're looking for these, right? Four of those. Okay. So two on each side. Like this. Guess the other ones are in here as well. One is, it'd be funny if the third one is in a completely different bag. Uh, no, it's here. Right. And a four, a three, a black four, 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 button. 
thingy. Here we go. Okay, and that goes on the very end. Right. Oh, wow, this is... This is the famed Kobe bricks. Once you assemble them, you never get them apart again. Mm. Oh, you had to go into quarantine. Oh, that sucks. What? You you be like in the bedroom and you can't go and you, you can't meet like your wife? Do you actually do they actually have like so you're quarantining yourself from your other family members. That doesn't work. Like even the WHO says that doesn't not that, that's not doable. Uh okay. What are we doing here? That is idiotic. Can't you just like can't you just is, isolate like the whole household can't you just assume i mean that would be a safer thing thing to do anyway right just assume everybody in the household has it and then all well, three of you like quarantine for 14 days either be two meters away from the family and wear a mask in the house or separate myself that's dumb that is idiotic but probably can't say that Otherwise, this video get will get cancelled off YouTube and Twitch and whatever. So let's talk about something else. One, two, three, four, five, eight. Let's talk about fighter planes from World War One. That's the um, way less. What? Sorry. Got a. Am I missing a step here? So put those on there, and that on here. Oh, and then I forgot the three. Oh, this is this is not a this is not a very clear step. This is not. I could have done that part easier. Anyway, okay. Now we're like we're like this, and then this goes like this. back side I guess right so it needs to be like one we're building like a ledge okay I put those on now we need the gray ones where, where do they go what what does that mean uh, wh where exactly is that uh, in the middle exactly in the middle gas okay Oh no, 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 I made I did wrong. Oh ah, I can't still get able to get it off. Why doesn't this Ah these slopes they're not they're not easy. Okay, now we need we need weird double slopes. Then the kids go. Kids couldn't go to the school. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's a it's 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 crazy, isn't it? Well, at least you got through it. Uh, Düsseldorf. Tell you about Düsseldorf. Let's tell you about Düsseldorf. So Düsseldorf is obviously nothing new for me, um, because I was born in Duisburg, which is just a town over. And this being well, Düsseldorf's not officially the rural area, but to me it is because it basically is the rural area, uh, which means. Um, I mean the the difference between the Rhineland here and the rural area for somebody who's not from this area of Germany would be relatively esot esoteric. So, so it's it's basically it's basically the rural area, um, which means um, it's uh, it's you know if you if you um, if you go from Düsseldorf to Duisburg, you know one one town further north. You you'll just go, you know, like in every any other town you'd think it'll be the same town, right? It's just it's just continuous. There's just a sign that says you're now in Duisburg. Um, so I've always been in Düsseldorf as a kid, you know. And you just go to the neighboring. Oh, this is a I love this part. Just, wait, just check this out. Just check out the details in there. It's amazing. Um, so it's kind of like. 
it's my it's my hood is uh, I, I know this I know this place very well and um, yeah I still love Hamburg Hamburg is a nicer city um, the people in Düsseldorf are generally considered to be even more snobbish than the people in Hamburg uh, but you know I'll just I'll just uh, I'll just change the vi the vibe of the city single handedly. Nah. Yeah, yeah, my old my old stomping grounds basically. So it feels a bit like moving home. But like moving back in with my parents because when I went to university, my parents were like, um, we're gonna pay for your university education. We don't care what you do under the uh, under one condition that you will leave home and you will move out. And you will piss off, and so I did that. So I, I, I so the the condition was I was not going to go to university in Duisburg or in a neighboring city. So that's why I went to Bonn. Um, sorry, I'm a bit distracted. I'm I'm trying to talk about this and find this this these two parts. Um, yeah. So I went to Bonn, and maybe it's these. Yeah, it's probably those. Um, where was I going with this? Can't remember. Yeah, so it, it kind of feels like moving, moving back home, uh, which actually, um, I, I was a bit sad about it because I like being, I like seeing the world and I like seeing different, different cities and different, different sites. And so that's, you know, moving back to some place where you've, been before no it's not that part uh feels a bit like sad in that respect but um you know on the other hand it's like this is like the weird weird corona times and uh my parents still live in these books so the the cool thing is i'm now closer to them and you know one thing i'm actually quite glad about as well is that I'm now closer to my grandma who also lives in Duisburg and uh, she turned 99 this year um, she's, she's still doing very well um, but you, you know when you when you're that age you know just there's limited time and I'm, I'm quite happy that I am now able to visit her more often so I've made I made this um, basically told myself I'm going to visit her every week now and um, you know as long as long as I still can where is this bloody where are these things so I'm, I'm quite happy for that and otherwise you know Düsseldorf has cool things um, so one 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 thing that's great about Düsseldorf Düsseldorf is uh, probably um, the most well-known city in Duisburg to Japanese people. There are a lot of Japanese people here. There's a Japanese festival. There's lots of Japanese stores. Um, I love ramen, and there is there's there are so many ramen bars, uh, and we've started exploring those, and that's pretty amazing. So, yeah, it's got its upside. Yeah, 99 is good, isn't it? I keep telling her it's like you know. Now, now it's a hundred. Now you have to do. You have to make a hundred. I want that. I want the mayor to be to have to write to you <laughs> on your hundredth birthday. Where's this bloody part? I'm kind of stuck here. I'm like, I mean, this uh, is it though. Let me just. Sorry, I have to move the microphone. I have to, uh, like an old man. Yeah, I found the parts, so that's good. Um, so we can keep building. That's good. And there's little notches in here. That's that's interesting. Like these 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 notches in there. Uh, okay, I did all of that. Um, and now we need like this black thing. And then, oh, it's gray. It's probably that one, right? It's, no, it's probably in that in that same color. I'm guessing this is dumb because this is like gray and black and there's like three two gray tones and you can't really see 
which which color we're talking about. Um, but I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna assume yeah, it's all one color. I can see. And now we need the machine gun things. These round, round. Oh, this is probably the um, for the holder, the holder for the plane. So these are not really round. Here they are. These, these we need. We need these. The second one of those. So it should theoretically be close, <laughs> uh, but maybe it was another bag. Oh, there it is. It's here. Okay, so these are clearly. Oh, oh, this is the wrong. This is the wrong one. This is longer. It's a longer one. Well, where, where did? Where? Oh, that probably goes on the wing. Okay. Um, oh, sorry. So I'll have to search again. Where are you? There you are. Okay. So you can clearly see this is like top part. See, this is this is where the canopy goes, and this is the front, and these are like the um, they're like the machine gun mountings. And I guess these notchings are the the breach. This is the breach of the machine gun. I'm guessing. Um. Right. Oh, this is so we finished that page which um, leaves us with a bit of a problem. Uh, it's really not enough space. I'm, 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 I'm happy I'm starting with a smaller model because if I want to build the Bismarck, I probably uh, need to make more space on the desk. Okay, now we go. And look for the yellow part. So yeah, uh, so the ramen bars and then the Japanese angle is amazing in Düsseldorf. There's even like a, uh, there's a Japanese trade show. And um, I've recently learned, um, I've watched, um, I don't know if you've watched uh, um, Our Man in Japan with James May. It's like a, a, a doc documentary kind of thing on, um, on Amazon. And uh, it's really funny. James May is really cool, and he's like in Japan, right? He's 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 our man in Japan, and um, there there's some stuff that I didn't know about Japan. So, for example, uh, you know, Jap Japanese are amazingly uh, kinky. You knew that, uh, but I didn't know that they had French made. Um, they have French made bars, but basically, this is a normal bar. Uh, but like all the waitresses are dressed like in French made like porn costumes and there's nothing going on. They're just serving you in the costumes. And I think that's great. Um, that is, um, wait, does that go that way? Okay. Uh, wow. This is okay. Um, that's a bit of a, uh, fascination of mine. Why? Sorry, I'm trying to understand how this. Don't think I assembled this correctly. Well, I'm pretty sure I assembled it like, like it's on there. Okay, I've got those two parts. And then. Hmm. Two of those. Oh, four of those. Right. Yeah, so, and they have, um, I learned that at the Japanese trade show, which obviously didn't happen this year, but might be back at some point, hopefully. Um, <laughs> they do have a French made bar as well. <laughs> so I'm going to go there. That's going to be amazing. I love the Japanese and their kinky shit. It's so endearing. Okay, like this, and then like that, I guess. And that goes. Ah, okay. Wow, this is a this is a complicated way of building shit. Okay, what do we got? We got now we have those two. Uh, oh, and they go. 
Um, but how is the oh yeah the the notch things at the bottom one? Sometimes really need the um I really need the packaging to see what what's what's going on. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do that. I think I did that on the Primo Victoria as well. Didn't yeah, um, the, the, our man in Japan is great. Watch it. It's it's great. He, <laughs> he actually he goes to Honda and builds, like, it's actually my dad's motorbike. It's like that model, and he tries to uh, do the final assembly, which is pretty funny. Um, Wait, what? Okay, this, oh, turn the other way around. Oh, oh, they have a yeah. Oh, this is, this is a great brick. Look at that. Look at that. Ah! <laughs> it's like a two-sided. It's like you can change, it's change directions. People who are who are uh, good at building Legos and know what they're doing are probably laughing. And I just, I'm amazed that this brick exists, but. Um, as I said last time I built something like, you know, when I built the Primo Victoria, the last time I built something like this was Lego when I was like 14 or, or 16. And uh, and then I built uh, nothing for years and then I built the Primo Victoria and then I haven't done anything for a year. Um, now we turn it around again. And now we put this, my favorite part, put this, ah, oh, look, you can put it at the front. Like, it's like, whoop, whoop. Ah, oh, look! It starts. It's it's already looking like a plane. You can you can tell what it is. Amazing, it's cool. Wow. Um, and this is where the propeller will go, obviously. Ah, cool. I think James May might be the ultimate choice of person to send somewhere like that. Excellent knowledge and humility in face of yeah. He's he's yes humility. He's the, he's the only one of those three. <laughs> Just imagine you you'd send Clarkson. <laughs> he he'd cause an international incident wherever he goes. You, me, and Dave still need to do the metal hammer sabot and tank shaft. We do, don't we? Oh yeah, I, I I recently remembered that as well because I found it when I was unpacking. I found the the magazine. Yes, we need to do that. Somebody get a hold of Dave. I haven't talked to Dave in ages. Two of those, and those are one, two, five, two, five, 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 five. Uh, yeah, I guess Dave's probably really busy with, with some, some work stuff. But we need to do that. Somebody nail that bastard down. Um, where's the other one? <laughs> Klaxon in Japan would be an absolute train. Klaxon anywhere would be a train wreck. Klaxon in Germany would be train wreck. It would just not cause an international incident because we are so... Um, we're so ashamed of our uh, nationality that we just would take all the insults and just go, yeah. Okay. We're more mature than this. Which we're actually not. It's just, those are not humility. It's just being ashamed of the, f of the past. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, where is it? It's, oh, sorry. Bonking. Oh, it's just I just need one part. Oh, that's that's why I can't find another one. Uh, like my dad always says, "Wer lesen kann, ist klar im Vorteil." If you can read, you're clearly in the uh, you got a leg up on everybody else. Okay, now we need those winglets. At least they're relatively easy to find. Where's the other one? Probably turned around somewhere. Got one wing here. Where's the other one? Hmm. There you go. It's just it's hiding. 
Right, there's two, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, it's wrong. Mm, it's also the same size. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, it's probably ten. I probably can't count. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, here we go, okay. And oh, we'd probably put this to the side, right? Okay, and then we put those here like that. And then we put that there. And this. I love it when they just do this and then they, they don't don't really see where exactly it needs to go. Okay, but I think I did that correctly. There's two. <laughs> Dave has concluded himself. I'm sure he would could could pull out for <laughs> pull him out of retirement for a Sabaton special. Yeah, that's your your lockdown, right? It's it's it's, it's very lockdowny still in the UK. It's it's relatively normal in Germany. Otherwise, I would have I would have gone completely mad by now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, not because I can't go out, because I mean, I mean. Why would you want to go out? It's just more like, because I'd be annoyed at people being dumb. Um, okay, I think this looks good. This Everything looks good from here. We shall call it this land. Um, right, now those two slopes. Where are those? It's not the flat ones, it's actual slopes. Slopey, 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 where are you? Do like, I, I really have to start watching how the professionals do this. Do they like sort these things beforehand so they can find stuff easier? That seems like the thing that's tripping me up the most. God, what kind of part is that? That's a weird looking part. Oops. <laughs> That's the, oh, here we go. That's it. Here we go. There's two. Yeah. There's two. And two. Just simple black. Two furs. Two furs. How do we do this? We put those at the end. This is probably where the rudder goes. The back, yeah, it looks like it. And then the black, black or gray. Yes, pr probably the right color. I'm hoping. Um, and these go. On the sides like that, and then they they go like this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This this is starting to look like uh, the other end of the plane. Okay. One of those and one of those. How are they? How how can I tell? What the fuck? Oh, they've got like these. No, I don't know. We'll see. We'll just try to figure it out. Okay, it goes like this. What the hell was that? Um. Oh, oh that was a that was a big uh, digging machine from the. They're still digging up the street. It's actually remarkably quiet. Well, it's almost four o'clock. They should be uh, 
they should be uh, having firearms soon. One one by one. Why does that always say one by one? That's weird. What's that supposed to tell me? Okay, and then this. And now this. Now this. Lovely. Okay, more slopes. More slopes. Uh, probably those two. No. Oh, I like how they I like how they're doing doing this with the slopes here. See that? I like how Kobe uses these slopes in general. Um, a lot of their stuff seems to look more, have more like more realistic lines than Lego. I think they have a few blocks that Lego just doesn't doesn't have, which is pretty cool. It's interesting. Interesting that that. Uh, Mike is actually watching this. I thought you'd be, uh, you sh you would not condone this, <laughs> since this isn't uh, isn't official Lego. <laughs> there's some Danish. Shouldn't you be uh, protesting now or something? <laughs> feel like we're getting somewhere one very special one that we'll now have to find probably only exists once small parts that only exist once always a problem um, oh there you go that's that's it found you that one I'm guessing. Yep. And then a normal square. Normal square here. Okay. Right, 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 right. So now we put this here. Oh, I forgot that, but it's okay. This here. Okay. Okay, so you always use these um, things to change direction and then put like these round things on there. This is really neat. I can feel a small sting of regret that you're not building official Lego, but on the other hand, patent has run out. And Lego is now using IP licenses. Yeah, the Star Wars was genius, but uh, yeah, yeah, they will be, they'll be fine. I just, I, I like the, um, I guess it's good for Kobe that Le Lego has this ridiculous policy of uh, not doing anything, anything more, more stuff. So we get nice pieces like this made in the EU, which I love, which Lego doesn't do, by the way. Um, okay, now we need, we need that back rudder has a yellow stripe and I actually haven't haven't seen that part yet which is making me slightly nervous where is that part I haven't seen that at all oh it's still in the box Bastard is uh, still in the box. 
and a nice part too. Look at that. Little F on here. Um, right. Oh, Halifa is there. How's it going, Dusseldorf? That's uh, great. Technically, Denmark is in the EU. Yes, Denmark is in the EU, but they're not producing in Denmark. They're producing in China. Um, and Kobe is producing in Poland. At least, I think most parts are produced in China. There's probably some parts that they do produce in Denmark. Oh, sorry. Oh, there's a little... Speaking of production, there's a little little notch here from the production process. Be very careful with a very sharp knife to not cut myself. They have several different production locations there. I guess you can't be sure that it's in, in the EU, whereas Kobe is always they do all they only produce in Poland. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that nice looking? So already looks like a plane. Little wheel. Um, and I put that on there. So I guess we are finished. Off that page. Manufacturing of Lego bricks occurs at several locations around the world. Molding is done in Billund, in then Denmark, uh, somewhere in Hungary, Monterey, Mexico, and most recently in Yangqing, China. Brick decorations and packaging are done at plants in Denmark, Hungary, Mexico, and Kladno in the Czech, Czech Republic. Good to know. Good to know. Um, right. That one. How are you doing, Halifa? Dusseldorf is doing great. Dusseldorf is, uh, is, is, is doing, uh, doing great. Things at the Dussel are, pro uh, Proceeding according to plan on the Dussel. Just a tiny little creek, basically, that Dusseldorf's named after. Busy. Well, you know, you gotta be happy. You gotta be happy to be busy these days, don't you? Could be worse. Could be completely fucked over by. Uh, by Corona bullshit. Two of those and two of those. Right. I guess my visiting, um, me visiting Copenhagen has uh, has been fucked over by by Corona for a bit. But I still want to do that at some point. <laughs> Work has, pra has practically been dead for half a year or so, so, so I've gotten used to slacking off, which is why the sudden amount of work is totally overwhelming. <laughs> I, I think you're not the only one. It's like these people returning from home office where they're basically, you know, let's be honest, weren't actually working a lot. <laughs> so now it's like actual work has to be done again. Oh no. How, uh, how inconvenient. Okay. Probably like this. It's a bit hard to see on the so I guess that's it. I know that those two okay. Building the planes from the lower side up. Uh, one green one and one gray one. Gray. And those weird things. Where they are, two of those. Yeah. 
Come on, can't pick them up off the desk. That's helpful. Hmm, what do they look on the other side? They're just matte. Interesting. What are we doing now? Uh, putting this here. Then like this, I guess. Some weird part of the pl of the wing tip. Something, something. Oh, but that's not. Let's get this. Okay, right. I can put that to the side, I guess. <laughs> what do you work with? I like that. That's a new. That's how we say work from now on. Work prop. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I went from the showering or brushing my hair for a year to having to be presentable for client contact in no time. <laughs> that sounds fun. Ah, it's it's a uh, twenty twenty is a funny year, isn't it? It is very funny. Uh, some amazing things happening. Okay, got one of those. Need two. Need another one. Need another one of those. Hello, please. Please come to me, little brick thing. Where is that motherfucker? Where are you? hiding uh, one of those another one of those uh, two of those two of those <laughs> bit of a shock to the system <laughs> oh. see here I am completely out of the curve not showering and not being presentable at all. But then I'm kind of lying because <laughs> um, because I kind of did make myself presentable for the stream. <laughs> Where is that supposed to go? What the fuck? Okay, like this. No, that wouldn't make any sense. Like that. And then like that. I'm a bit skeptical that that's... Uh, no, that looks like it. Okay, so, and then on the other side... <sighs> probably want to put that here and then that there. But where did where did that where does that part go? Um, like this. Oh, ah, okay. All oh, right. So that's the um. Ah, that's part of the um. Camouflage pattern. Mr. Amish says, got my new motor motorcycle, so 2021 was not that bad. Hmm, new motorcycles, nothing to sneeze at. What did you get? <laughs> I, can, I can see that it's making a difference, even slightly scruffy at you. I'm not scruffy, I'm like, I'm completely, look at that. Well, the haircut's been uh, 
it's been a while, but uh, I'm almost completely, you know, shaved and everything. <laughs> this is as presentable as I get. It's not scruffy at all. Right, so I think I finished that. Oh my god, this is getting this is getting unwieldy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, this is the ten ten things. Okay. I'm guessing those these are these and then these are those. And then we need I'm guessing that. Probably that. We'll see. Okay, so. Um, like that. Alright. Um, and then. Uh, oh god, no. First of all. Oh god, this is complicated. Oh fuck. Fuck me, that's complicated. Um, ah, this is the um, camouflage pattern again. So like this, I'm guessing. I think. I hope. Something. Somebody. Okay, then. Ah, oh, right. Uh, no. God. This is getting um This is starting to be uh not as easy as I thought it would be. <laughs> um Right. I was scruffy looking. Royal Enfield Himalayan. Oh, that's a, that's a nice bike. Not bad. Good looking bike. I like that. It's a bit retro as well. It's just down my... Um, that's a retro retro one, isn't it? The uh, The retro looking model. That's right down my alley. Two of those. No, that's three. Two of those. Tea time. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. I'll need to get another one in a second as well. But, um,. First, let's continue with this shit. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Numbering those on the side would actually help. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess if you if you do this a lot, you can you can probably just tell by the dimensions or something. Okay, that goes where? That goes like there. Okay. Um, da -ba -da -ba -da. Da -ba -da -ba -da. and then probably just yeah, this. Okay. And now we need those. Two of those. Where's the other one? I'd seen that. I'd seen it here somewhere. Famous last words. There we go. And 
objectives. The other way around. No wonder I didn't find. Okay, so we got that. It's probably. How does this go? Like that. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. So you you put them. Ah, so this is like the, ha ha ha, see, it's a, what's that, an aileron, some control surface, it just reminds me I need to start playing Flight Simulator, oh, I didn't see that, it's actually, it's actually nice and uh, detailed there, oh, I like that, it's a moving part, that's pretty cool. Um, okay, here, same thing, yeah, same thing here. Um, same thing. Is that actually here? Yeah, that looks like it's supposed to look. Doop, 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 doop. Nice. And those, where do those go? Those go... Okay, so we have it like this. There, and that goes just this way around, and goes like this. Hmm. Interesting. So we, what we have now is uh, this. Building a flight fighter plane. Uh, not my bike, Khalifa. Not my, not my bike. Uh, I only have the good C, and that's enough for me. But uh, Mr. Amish was saying, uh, got a new, got a new bike. So I'm gonna get a, a T as well. So uh, please excuse me for a few minutes while I make myself a T. I'll be back very soon. Quick break. Uh, okay, I just answered that b before I go before I go on the quick break. Um, do I build a lot of Lego alternatives? No, this is my second. I haven't, as I said before, I haven't touched any Lego. Um, like the last time I built anything was when I was sixteen, I, I guess, or even younger, and then I didn't touch it. And then last year I got the uh, Primo Victoria Sabaton tank uh, from Mike and. Uh, and Dave and the boys um, and Nicholas and built that uh, and I streamed that. And so when I got this from uh, the in-laws, I thought um, I should stream that again. So it's my second one. So I'm, I, I kind of pledge that whenever I get some Kobe stuff, I'll build it on stream because I think it's kind of cool. It's, it's chill and nice and a fun thing to do. Anyway, I'll be back in about two or three minutes with another... Um, English breakfast tea and we'll continue this little project. See you in a bit.
I'm back. No, I'm not. I'm not dead. It's all good. It's all good. I was getting tea as well, Mike. I was getting my own tea. Oh, hot. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's continue this. Um, where were we? I think we finished this. Next page. Nice weather outside all of a sudden. Raining for ages and now it's nice weather. Uh, Halifa, by the way, speaking of streaming, respect the tea. It's, it's good British. Uh, it's, cl uh, it's copper as well. It's good British. British tea. Halifa, we need to do some um, some elite. Elite streaming. Um, is it that one? Wait. exist in another color looks like it looks looks good looks looks good when that looks no it does exist in a different color see okay two of those green ones careful now remember where I live is it Irish it's good Irish I was saying my tea is good British tea your, your tea is good Irish tea obviously Obviously, good European tea. <laughs> uh, okay. We'll put that here. And then, yeah. Put that there. And then we put that, that we put that. And that like, like this. I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that looks good, yeah. That like looks very good. Very good that looks. Um and this right, okay. <laughs> Off the hook. <laughs> uh, you will never let me wear that down. What was it? No, it was char, right? It's I called char British. Was, it, was that it? I'll never wear, live that down. And right, okay. So, so right here. That there. Oh, okay. And oh, this is. Oh different on this wing than on the other hmm. interesting it's only on one side interesting now we need is it this one four six hmm. now six six Punjana is a brand of tea produced by the Belfast-based tea company Thompson's Tea. Thompson's Tea was founded in 1896 when Robert S. Thompson was made partner of MacArthur and Willis. Thompson's Punjana has since become the best-selling tea in Northern Ireland, one of the most popular brands in Scotland. Interesting. Never heard of it before. Pan, Panjana. Panamanjana. <laughs> uh, oh, Ooh, nearly dropped that. That's not good. Um, okay. Ah, now we are um, we're joining the wings. Wing the winds of change. The wings of change. No. Um, wings. Wow, this is actually quite big. I didn't know this player was going to be so big. I wonder if that fits in my display case. Um, uh, one, two. Four and two gray ones. Here we go. Now things are getting starting to get easy. Starting to are beginning to be easier to find. Oh God! How do I put? Wh where do I put those on? Christ! Um, Looks good. And then the other one is 
are they showing that from this side? This is this is um, very confusing. Very, 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 very confusing. Um, I hope that is correct. Yeah, and everything's marketed as English breakfast tea. Exactly, this is also marketed as English breakfast tea. <laughs> it's either Earl Grey or English breakfast tea. While over here, every family has their brand, which they grew up with and will not deviate from. Interesting. Interesting. By the way, in Australia, everything's marketed. Uh, sorry, pretty much everything's marketed is uh, English breakfast tea as well. Okay, now I need to concentrate a bit because I need to find little things and I need to probably open these. Now, now we're getting to the fiddly bits. Let's put the fiddly bits over here. Little, little machine guns and shit like that. The people that are walking past on the street are like, what's that guy doing? I, I don't have any um, uh, curtains yet, so you can just see me streaming from the street. Kind of like that morning show studio in the US that when we're there, we can walk past on the street in New York. Um, okay. What do we need? We need this. And, and we need a tangerine. That one. And we need this. This one is a new one. And we need that one. And we need... We need that. That should be everything, I think. So how do we... God, this is... Uh, this is fiddly. Um, see, this is already wrong. See, it's wrong. This is supposed to be different. Okay, this is supposed to be like this. Like this here. And then we'll put this here. It's fiddly. And this here, and then a space two, and then we put it here. Then on the other side, that one goes here. It's, it's very, um, it's not symmetric anymore, which is. Slightly driving me insane. So I'm doing I'm doing all this this shit now. It's like fiddly bits on the leading edge of the wing. Okay, 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 okay. Come here, microphone. Um, that and two of those and one two. One, two, three, four, six. Sometimes the the way they are shown is just like the perspective is off. Um, okay, so put that here. That's pretty straightforward. And then that one like this. And then on the other side. Put the, ah, okay. Okay. This is this is interesting. This is all the green and gray things, and it that's because the um the camel pattern obviously is, isn't symmetric and so but all that shit. Danes are more relaxed with privacy and curtains. Uh, yeah, you're doing that thing where everybody's just looking through the the houses. That's when I see people game with headphones on. I often wonder whether they just 
gamers or also streamers well they're not even like looking inside here because i'm gaming i think that would be more normal but i'm obviously like building something which is just more weird sluz almond sluz almond I'm amazed sometimes when I visit my dad how people have just a complete windows to the ceiling view into their homes. I I love walking around Slusa home and just watching. <laughs> uh, isn't that I think Germans are worried that you can just see what people have and you know people come along and steal shit. That's I don't think it's even so much for me it's not a privacy thing that much. I don't care. I have the attitude if you look into my house, um, you can't complain, right? Whatever you see, you looked, it's it's your fault. It's your fault, right? You can't complain. So if you look in here and I'm naked and, you know, bending over and you can see a mile down my ass crack, it's your fault. You looked. Um, that's that's the way I, hand, I handle these things. Okay. One of those. one yeah that's that one and sh 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 sh. that's kind of the danish where i've seen this also with balconies that often have glass walls hmm. well maybe i'm maybe i'm more danish than i realized maybe deep deep down i'm like i'm danish I kind of like that attitude. I mean, what's, I mean, it's not so much privacy. I mean, it's just, you know, I mean, what, what are you seeing? That's a privacy violation anyway. You know, sometimes when I have my password manager open, then I'm a bit worried that somebody with <laughs> binoculars <laughs> sitting on the other side of the street. That the Copen the Copenhagen way. The Copenhagen way. CPH. Right, that, that, I thought you were talking about the California Highway Patrol or something at first. Although that's CHP, but close enough. Close enough. Grew up in the Sauerland where everyone has a big... So I think big city people are just more used to it because they have to live tight with other people. I grew up in Sauerland where everyone has a big bush around everything and where you cannot look into windows. Yeah, but people in Sauerland are weird anyway. You have to admit that. They're, they're weird. Sauerland people are weird. That's actually quite close to here, relatively. Oi, come on, there are weird. I know I actually have friends from Zoland as well. They are a bit, it's like a kind of, I don't know, it's a bit hillbilly, but not as like you know, there's hillbilly, hillbilly in Germany where they're just like farmers. It's not like that, it's more, it's mountain, it's, it's almost like mountain folk. It's like people who live in the mountains are always weird, you know, like the Scottish. In Denmark, we call those people Liguste Fascista. I mean, it translates to hedge fascist. Yeah, Liguste is a kind of hedge, isn't it? That's great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna remember that. That's actually a great term, Liguste Fascista. <laughs> it's amazing. It's great. That, that's yeah. Sorry, what? How does this? Ah, okay, goes like this. The leading leading wing edge we're doing now. Ligusta um, fascista. <laughs> that is great. I love that. That's our word of the day. Rolls pretty well. That, yeah, Ligusta fascista. It's great. It's our word of the day. Official word of the day. Um, right. This is this is 
getting big here. I guess we'll just slot this in later, right? Like this, and then, like then that on the front, and we have a plane. Pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool way of building it, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna, when Katie gets home, I'm gonna tell her about the Ligusta Fascista. <laughs> Great. Just found the shortcut to quit my browser on the Mac. Fabs, are you gonna play Baldur's Gate? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna play Baldur's Gate. I can't remember the other two games. I don't know. I was just recently thinking. I I played them back in the day, but can't remember anything. Is there like a remastered version that I can play before I play it? So, no, I think I'm just going to play the third one. I'm actually looking forward to that because I like um, Larian's uh, way of making games, but I never, I, I have to say, I, I was never a big fan of the um, Divinity storyline, the universe. And, you know, Baldur's Gate's obviously great, so. So I'm gonna. That's. I'm gonna definitely play that. But I have. I have so many games. I need to. I need to actually upgrade my computer, bigger SSD, and then uh, reinstall everything, which needs to be done anyway because it's Windows and it's been years. And then I want to play Flight Simulator. So that's on the list. And there's there's a lot of stuff on the list. And this is actually quite interesting. Um, see those things and. We're gonna put like little guns in here and they go in like these these hollow uh, hollow little buttons and you put like the gun in there. It's pretty cool. Pretty good looking for like a for like a Lego model. It's pretty awesome. I just gotta make sure that I do this the right way. Yeah, the small ones are cool. uh, further in the middle. Never Winter Nights? Yeah, I played that too. So there's another game I can't remember. Um, I don't know. I think Dragon Age. I became such a huge fan of Dragon Age and the lore that I, that overrode a lot of things. <sighs> but like anything uh, by where does Dragon Age is no shit as well. So I'm actually... I've, I've been playing... Um, the Outer Worlds, and I've been playing the um, expansion now, um, Peril on Gorgon, and I do love that game. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stream that in the future. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna, I was thinking of doing another playthrough, uh, when I'm through with this, uh, expansion and I might be streaming that. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Oh, no, sorry. What? Oh, it's wrong. That goes there. Okay. And then that thing goes here. All oh, right. Mm. Oh, that's clever, like the little this and then those those little slopes. Pretty cool. Um, right, it's probably this one. And then two of those corner pieces. And then those slopes. And then we go. Bam. Oh, this is coming along. Close now, close now. Like this. Wait. Oh, this is the different ones. Okay. Uh, like that. Two of those and 
one. Okay. Then we go like this. One, two, three, four. So when when Baldur's Gate actually coming out, I haven't been haven't been paying attention. Been been out of the loop for a while. Now now we are this far. This is actually quite cool. I love these. Early early access should drop today. Yeah, I'm not gonna play early access with a game like that. I just wanna I wanna enjoy the story. And uh yeah. I was gonna wait. And I'm probably not gonna not gonna get it immediately as well, uh depending on what, what I what I'm doing um at the time. So much shit to do at the moment. I'm also playing Crusader Kings 3 right now, which I'm really enjoying. And which is really a surprise to me because I love, like, I kind of love the idea of Crusader Kings 2, but I've, I've basically tried to play it for a decade and I keep bouncing off it. And that is not happening with Crusader Kings 3 right now, which, which is very, uh, very cool, very reassuring to me. This is actually getting easier. I think it, the, 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 the Primo Victoria tank was like this as well. Like it's really tough in the beginning when you have so many parts and you... Oh, no, no, no! I dropped the part. Wait. Where is it? Where is it? It's trying to flee. The slopes. This is this is cool. This is cool shit. This is really cool shit. I'll have to show you in a second. Check this out. Check out that slope work here like slopes there there and then the little the little guns and uh camo really cool hmm i'll have to check something give me a second i'll be i'll be back in just a moment Something fell over. It's like really windy outside. <laughs> I'm also not sure what that uh, emoji is, Halifa. You will have to translate that from emoji to English. Oh, now we put we're putting the chair in. We're putting the chair in. The chair goes here, and then there's like this thing, and little. Little joystick, little joystick. Check this out. <laughs> Can you move it? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, and now we're putting, now we're putting the front part on there, which I guess just fits like that. Wow. Yeah. Wait. Theoretically, yes cool oh this 
is nice. Lovely. 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 Okay. Oh, and the back part. We're putting, putting the back part on as well. Ha! Ha! We got a plane. We got a plane. And it's quite big, actually. It's actually. Ha <laughs> ha! Like a little kid. <laughs> ah, Mike's got it. Finger guns. Oh. Mike's got it. Okay, I'll put this here at the end. And then those two. Oh, don't fall apart on me now. Um, oh, th these, right? Yeah, these go. These go here. Okay, so, alright. Oh, it's still falling off. It's still don't have, uh, don't have stability yet, which I guess these are for. Now we're putting the Utah the Utah parts on. Right. <laughs> That's awesome. This is awesome. This is an awesome model. I love those. Um, I'd seen some people build like the planes and they said they really like the planes. And I can kind of understand why. I like how this is like just bricks, for example. Right? I like how they how they built these things. Really good. Kobe is really fun. Um. Right, and now we need to put the canopy together. What the hell is that? This that is a weird thing. Just check this out. I think I can't probably can't show this. It's a weird part. What are you are you speaking Danish? Gotta go firearms. Well have a good have a good firearm, Talifa. Um see you around and tell me when we're doing this elite thing. I won't let you off the hook on that. Fraften, Fraften, Fraften Fraften Fraften. It's my my attempt at speaking Danish, Ooh. which already immediately draws laughter from the Danish. Oh, so this little thing is what holds the, oh no, it's actually, oh, that's the instrument. This is like the, um, that's, that's like the, I don't know, compass or something. Mike, you want to join Elite too? Uh, sure, definitely. You guys need to tell me when you when you want to do that, sort it out, and uh, I'll be uh, I'll be trying. How the hell? Okay, we need to. Oh, I'll cl clip this in place. Okay, and we put this here. Oh my God, this is so good. Oh. Okay, this is this is not good. This is needs to be. This is okay. Just on there. I'll just put this. Okay. Actually. Smash it. So these are. So hard to take apart again. I think you probably want to put this part on at first because there's these little things that slot in there. And then I can see these little little things there. Then you slot that there. You can put that on. So I'd probably change the oh well there yeah I probably change the um. Um, the manual and now we can put that on and now we have a canopy it's 
Nice. Yeah, let's do that. Let's 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 talk on Discord and uh, get that get that sorted. I want to do some streaming again. I feel like it. I feel like streaming. Right. Um. This thing. Now we're doing putting something together very weirdly okay like this no oh like that and then that and then this here and then that there and then that on the back okay and then we have this weird little little special cube whatever oh, that's supposed to be uh, right that is supposed to be the turbine like oh no this is kind of like a ah this is the um i think it's fuel tank it's um it's uh Spare, spare fuel tank, I think. It goes below the plane, yeah. Right, I'll put it like this. And it goes, how do you figure out where it goes? Right at the front, where do we put it? I guess there. Okay. And then we need uh, two of those and four of those slopes, which are all here. And you put those two here. Oh yeah, we're finishing. Why are we finishing these now? That's weird, okay. Like the final touches. The final touches. It's the final touches. Okay. Oh yeah, and now we're obviously building the um the landing gear. Which is retractable a little bit. Not completely, I think, but a little bit. Okay. Um, what do we need? Two of those, two, two of those, okay, two of those. And not miss my stomach because I haven't eaten yet today. Still need to cook myself something. I actually wanted to do that before I did the stream, but couldn't because work. I had some some work related things to take care of. Um, right. Oh no, yeah, now we take these. These like special Landing gear thingies. I think there are two. There's the other one. Oh god, it's complicated. Wait. Uh, like this. Oh, oh wow. They fit in here. Uh, okay, maybe, maybe they do. Somehow. Uh, yeah, kind of. Ah, come on. Don't be shitty. I didn't know. Okay. Like this. Now the other one. Oh, 
that one's not right. That's a lot easier. Um, okay, those two, then we need those and those wrong things. I remember them from the from the Lego days. Used to do like everything with those. Like a little, there was like these little lights and shit. Transparent, transparent ones, colored ones. Okay. Oh no, we 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 make. It's kind of like with the tank. We're actually making the wheels. There's like little rubber things. Actually, rubber wheels. <laughs> Quite cool. All right. Okay. Making the wheels. Come on. Come on, you bastard. Right. Need those. Put those in the wheels. Which way around? That way around. Okay. Oh, I did. Oh, wow. Okay. That's quite ingenious. clip on um, and then you take two of those and those and you do like this okay that's interesting that's an interesting thing and then okay oh uh, it actually says on the little clip the wheel in. Oh. Wow. Okay, check this out. Check that out. <laughs> so you take this, right? And then you take this, and then you clip that. No, wait, the other way around. You clip those into each other. Pretty, pretty cool. Clip. See that? Clip it like this. Then it's it's quite cool. Right. We did that. And now we put them we put them next to here. I guess it's like this. this and then we need two of those people are watching me where's the other one there, there it is like in those uh, apartments in Stockholm uh, Copenhagen sorry whatever they're called in, in Schrubbelevel Schrophovel. Schloppelhagen. Okay, is that correct? Okay, uh, um, don't know because we're going to another step now, but I'm guessing that will be it. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, I get it now. Um, so that's what, what they look like, right? And these are clip on because you can unclip them and you can put put them like this. And this is, they don't retract completely. I guess they didn't have space, but they retract a little. Oh, <laughs> shit. Um, they retract a little bit. It's pretty cool. I wonder if this, I did this correctly. Let me just have a look. 
Ja, das ist gut. Nice. Okay, so jetzt. jetzt can, can, you can like um, clip them in and then they hold. Then the plane stands like that. Brilliant. Um, rotor. Rotor blade. Sorry. Which way around? Should be that way. Oh. Not breaking it will help. Okay. Wait, I don't know if it's it's not is that the way it's supposed to go. Wait. Uh, uh, no the other way around. It's supposed to be like this and then like that. <laughs> that didn't sound like a plane, did it? <laughs> oh god. I don't know what that was. <laughs> that was step fifty two, by the way. And I think now we're just building the um the display the display stand That's what the pla this plane sounds on from now on. <laughs> oh, I forgot this. Okay. Of course, this needs to be solid. Solid. Um, you know what people is? Uh, reputation is people talking. You do this job for me, your reputation will be solid. Welcome Reynolds, get it done, is the talk. Uh, okay, those two are hiding here and there, and now we take a notch and put it like this. Yes, that is very nice, very, very nice. And now we take this and we put those things on here. Oh forgot that piece and I can see where's that on the plane well we'll see, we'll see later first we need the the display stand um, okay Fokker Wolf FW 190AH oh that is that is brilliant Isn't that a nice display stand? That is quite nice. Now, um, we are now finished and the rest is stickers, but um, wh what is this crap? Does this go? Is this extra? Did I miss it? That that's extra for the wheels, right? Yeah, probably. Okay, those are probably extra parts. And also, what they did tell us to do was build the guy. 
the little oh he's got an iron cross uh, the little nazi pilot no he's a he's a wehrmachts pilot right he's he's not in the nazi party he's just a soldier uh, he's just following orders and uh, trying to defend his, uh, his country. I think that's the, uh, that's the official line. And we can put him in there. Can we? Can he actually sit in there? In that chair? Yeah, exactly. Uh, does he, does he g s stick to the, to the chair? Is that how it works? Uh, things falling off again. So, uh, we're losing the extra fuel tank. Oh, no, we lose. <laughs> okay, I'm breaking everything. Um, right, this is a problem. Now I have to take it apart. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's break everything. Yeah, he can actually, you can put him on the seat. He will actually stay there. But first we need to put the thing back in. Okay. Put him in here. Right. Stay in there, you fuck. You war criminal. Um. Uh, okay, this goes, this goes here, and this goes, oh god, he's gonna fall out again. <laughs> yeah, because of this. Bastard. It's being difficult. It's being difficult. Right, stay in there. Stay in your canopy, you, you little shit. Oh, wrong way around. Gotta get the camo right. Otherwise, the Brits will see us. Uh, put that back on. Right here. Okay, and now I think they're telling us how to do the, the stickers here. Um, and I guess it looks kind of shit without the stickers. So I guess I will have to put them on. Uh, I'm put it to shit. Okay. Those big ones on the wings. Oh God, they've got like little, little stripes as well. Shit. Okay, let's, let's try this. Doing it this way. Mm. Ooh, what are those? Those are just clear. What are those for? Halfway decent, and then the uh, the cross, the Luftwaffe cross. Okay, how do we line that up? They line that up with that. Oh God, that looks like shit. Okay. Kind of like that. Ah, oh God, this is uh, this is fizzles Arbeit, as we say in German. I don't like fizzles Arbeit. Oops. Oh no, this is completely wrong. Oh shit! Okay. 
Leider an Leik Findels Arbeit. Like work. Yeah, it's too much like work. It is. It's exactly what it is. It's exactly the problem, Mike. Where does this go? This goes like from there. C3. Like for the maintenance guys. Okay, now the other side. Okay. I don't like stickers. They they print the the other stuff so well. Why don't you just completely print it? Fuckers. Okay. Um, here. That. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then that stripe. Nearly done, guys. Nearly done here. Uh, that goes here. That, I guess. Okay. Clo close enough. Close enough. Close enough for jazz. Uh, and then we do on the top. Okay, I'll put them on those. Yeah, 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 get it. Oh, they're round. Why are they round? I mean, it's a square piece. Why are they round? Ooh, my stomach's like, I want to eat now. Hurry the fuck up. This stupid plane. Okay. And now, don't break the rotor. Probably, I should probably take that off. While I do this. Oh. Take it off like that. That's handy. Um, on the bottom, we'll go there. This is like in the middle. Oh, they're round too. Line them up with like that. Well, it's not completely straight, but you know, it's wartime. I bet they didn't paint these on completely straight all the time either. Okay, there we go. And we're finished. Nice, isn't it? Nice. It was really fun. Oh, here's some ads for the M12 gun motor carriage and some Jeeps and the Ford GP and Rommels, Rommels Mammut. 
Rommels Mammut. It's interesting. Historical collection. It's the Afrika Corps. <laughs> this is actually just just three guys. Three guys and 26 bricks. That's, that's weird. The Afrika Corps. Mm, nice. So, Fockewolf FW190 A8. In service 1944 to 45. Fighter, one crew. Wingspan. 10.5 meters, length 8.95 meters, height 3.95 meters, weight 3050 kilograms, pretty much uh, almost as much uh, or a little bit more than my bully. Um, engine BMW 801D2, 1700 horsepower, range 1035 kilometers, which is 643 miles. Blah blah blah. Maximum flight level eleven thousand four hundred ten meters, thirty thirty-seven thousand four hundred thirty foot feet. Speed six hundred fifty-six kmh. Armament two two times thirteen millimeter. Mg one three one guns four times twenty millimeter. Mg one five one dash slash twenty cannon. Nice. Another cool little set from uh, Kobe. It actually took us quite, how long was this? An hour, almost, no, two hours? Two hours and a half? Three, four, five, yeah. Two hours, a little bit over two hours to build. Not bad. Wonder where you put that, you put that in here, yeah. Huh. Quite nice. Nice little set. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I probably shouldn't put it like that, but uh, yeah. It's a nice little set. I'm gonna put it in my, um, my display case next to the Seven tank, probably, maybe I can tie it so it can fly over the seven tank. That would be nice. But for now, I'm just going to put it on the display stand, I think. It's lovely. And if you put it on the display stand, you can, of course, retract these a little bit. And then um, put it on here. Looks quite dynamic. <laughs> A bit jealous, actually. Then actually, they're quite, they're quite affordable. I think. Um, those planes. Let me just see what. Um, let me look that up. Uh, what is it? Five seven o four. Let me see what it goes for. Um, Amazon.co.uk, 21 pounds, 21 pounds, 17. So 22, 22 pounds. That's actually quite decent, isn't it? You know, 285 parts, 85 pieces. Yeah, it's, just, it's very reasonable. I thought so too. Really nice. Thanks again to the, uh, to my in-laws, my parents-in-law. Um, for giving me this lovely set for my birthday. Made me very happy. A lot of fun to build. And um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be doing this again, I guess. Um, if I get another Kobe set, maybe I'll, I'll buy one at some point and then I'll um, do this again. I like this, very chilled, relaxed. Hope you had a good time too. Um, if you are around tomorrow, I will probably be um, streaming the recording of episode 41 of the Private Citizen, my privacy podcast. Um, no, thank you. Thanks for watching. This is uh, it's really cool. Um, yeah, I'll stream that tomorrow. I don't know quite when yet, probably uh, later in the afternoon uh, or even in the evening. Uh, keep an eye on Twitter and uh, twitter.com 
uh, slash fabsh, F-A-B-S-H, Foxtrot, Alpha Bravo, Sierra Hotel. Uh, also my blog, which it says up there, up there, Fab Industries. Um, I'll, I don't know, if I know early enough, I'll, I'll let you know. Otherwise, all of these are always on YouTube. I'll put these on YouTube. Um, link, links are always on the blog as well. And yeah, oh, nice. Oh, I forgot that you can, that you can change these as well. That was really fun. Thanks for watching. I'll, I'll see you around. I'll have to uh, fix myself something to eat now. I think I'll make a stew. Um, nice little lentil stew with tons of meat in it. And maybe see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See you around, people. I'll be streaming more from now on and uh, be letting you know. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Mike, for, for being around all the time. Lots of fun. See ya. Mm -hmm.